The exploration of alien celestial bodies is one of the most exciting and central aspects of modern space research. What undiscovered secrets are hidden on the planets and moons of our solar system? Which distant exoplanets are located in the habitable zones of their ancestral systems? In view of this highly exciting topic, we should not ignore, however, that, repeatedly, a certain different type of astronomical object moves into the center of scientific striving, asteroids. Indeed, terrestrial experts have already succeeded in taking a close look at some of these fascinating cosmic bodies in the course of ambitious missions. In today's video, you can find out how these breathtaking projects turned out in detail and what important insights were gained in the process. Want to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe? Then remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos again in the future. Show us with a thumbs up that you like our excursions through the mysteries of the cosmos. Asteroids before we go into the actual missions of renowned space agencies, we should first briefly and concisely clarify what asteroids actually are. In detail, asteroids are those small astronomical bodies that orbit the central host star of our planetary system on Keplerian orbits. Asteroids are larger than meteoroids, which range in size from a fraction of an inch to several feet, and smaller than dwarf planets, which have an average diameter of about 600 miles. So far, experts have identified more than 1.1 million asteroids asteroids in our solar system, with thousands of new ones being added to the list every month. The actual number of astronomical small bodies in the solar system therefore probably amounts to several million. Due to their relatively low mass, asteroids are not able to reach a hydrostatic equilibrium, which means that they don't have a roughly spherical shape like planets and moons. One of the few exceptions is Pallas. With an average diameter of 339 miles, it's the largest known asteroid. Vesta has a diameter 19 miles smaller than Pallas, but with a weight of 5.7 times 10 to the power of 20 pounds, it is the heaviest of all identified asteroids. Galileo Actually, the main focus of the Galileo mission, which was completed between 1989 and 2003, was the comprehensive exploration of the gas giant Jupiter and its moons. In addition to the astronomical milestones that were achieved in the process, including the detection of subterranean liquid water accumulations on the satellites Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto, the unmanned NASA space probe made another rather unexpected and sensational discovery. When Galileo passed the asteroid Ida in 1993, an asteroid moon was sighted for the first time in history. So we know today that the asteroid discovered in 1884, which has a diameter of about 18 miles, is accompanied by a large chunk just under a mile in diameter, which was named Dactyl. Two years before this groundbreaking discovery, Galileo had already crossed the path of the asteroid Gaspra. During this cosmic encounter, in which both objects were just 1,000 miles apart, some spectacular images of the astronomical small body were taken. In fact, Gaspra was the first asteroid ever to be captured on image at close range. Thanks to Galileo's flyby maneuver, we now know that it's an irregularly shaped asteroid whose dimensions are 12 by 7 by 6 miles. Furthermore, the images revealed that the outer surface of the object is literally littered with craters. By analyzing the size and distribution of the impact sites, Gaspar's age could be estimated at 200 million years. Compared with the 4.5 billion year old solar system, the asteroid is still in cosmic infancy near Shoemaker. Between 1996 and 2001, NASA's Near Shoemaker spacecraft pursued a truly exciting goal, direct exploration of the asteroid Eros. First discovered in 1898, Eros became the first known near-Earth asteroid. As its name suggests, it's a small astronomical body that does not move around the Sun in the asteroid belt, as most known asteroids do, but orbits in the regions of the four inner planets of the solar system. Equipped with the most advanced instruments of its time, the spacecraft left our blue home planet on February 17, 1996. After a flyby of the asteroid Mathilde, near Shoemaker finally reached orbit around Eros on February 14, 2000. 
After studying the cosmic object of desire in detail for almost a year, it was time for a truly spectacular maneuver, landing the probe on the asteroid's surface. Although the unmanned spacecraft had not been designed for such an undertaking at all, it actually succeeded in touching down on Eros. As a result, the spacecraft transmitted data from the asteroid's surface toward Earth over the next 16 days before finally breaking contact completely. The surface of Eros, which is covered with grooves and craters, suggests that the object had already already been exposed to several extreme collisions with other celestial bodies in the past. Further investigation revealed that Eros contains a relatively large amount of material including platinum and gold, in addition to iron, nickel, and aluminum. Deep Space One what is true for the world in general also holds true for modern space travel. New techniques must always be tested. And so it was that the mission of the U.S. Deep Space One space probe was regarded by experts as a cosmic test run. The NSTAR ion propulsion system, new types of solar modules, and autonomous navigation procedures were just a few of the many technical innovations that plunged into the vast expanses of space together with Deep Space One on October 24, 1998. In addition to the initial deployment of these revolutionary technologies, the scientific observation of the asteroid, Braille, was also one of the overriding goals of this ambitious project. While the deployment of Deep Space One was an outstanding success from a technical point of view, paving the way for the Dawn mission, among others, the investigation of the astronomical small body also provided a lot of revealing information. In fact, Deep Space One was able to approach within about 18 miles of the asteroid, which is about a mile long. However, a technical error meant that the spacecraft's automatic camera did not align with Braille, so unfortunately, no detailed close-up images of the asteroid were taken. The problem was solved in about 15 minutes, but by that time, there was already a distance of 9,000 miles between the spacecraft and Braille. Nevertheless, spectrographic data collected by Deep Space One during the encounter showed Braille's composition to be virtually identical to that of Vesta. As a differentiated asteroid, Vesta has a basaltic crust consisting of basic effusive rocks and ultra-mafic rocks. Mafic minerals are characterized by being very rich in iron and magnesium. Due to the large material parallels, Braille is very probably a fragment of Vesta, which was blown off once in the course of a collision with another celestial body. Dawn Speaking of the asteroid Vesta, the already mentioned Dawn mission must not be left out. As part of the Discovery program, NASA's spacecraft of the same name entered space in September 2007, orbiting and exploring the asteroid Vesta between 2011 and 2012. Subsequently, the dwarf planet Ceres was also examined in an informative way. The first images of the heaviest asteroid in the main belt, which is located between the planetary orbits of Mars and Jupiter, were used exclusively for navigation of the unmanned spacecraft and were not yet suitable for scientific purposes due to their blurriness and low resolution. This was to change when Dawn entered Vesta's orbit and took numerous detailed images of the asteroid. At last count, the distance between the spacecraft and Vesta was a mere 120 miles. Previous knowledge about the most massive known asteroid was significantly deepened and extended. In addition to taking the breathtaking images, Dawn was also able to create a topographic map of Vesta, investigate the composition of the surface, and explore the gravitational field of the small body. In February 2012, the spacecraft again entered Ceres' orbit, where it continued its investigations. Due to depleted hydrazine supplies, the mission was officially terminated on November 1, 2018. Despite this, Dawn will remain in orbit around the dwarf planet for several decades. Ada there is no question that the asteroid encounters presented so far have been both fascinating and enlightening. However, you might say the most spectacular encounter with one of these astronomical objects is yet to come. That the term encounter is meant literally in this case is shown by the exciting targets the ADA mission has. In detail, it's a groundbreaking project that has never before been put into practice in this form. The deliberate collision between an unmanned spacecraft and an asteroid. The background of this maneuver is that experts want to test in this way whether it's possible to deliberately manipulate the trajectory of a medium-sized asteroid. This is how NASA's DART spacecraft came to leave our globe on November 24, 2021 and is currently on course toward the double asteroid Didymus. 
Once there, the probe is expected to impact the smaller representative of the double system, which has a diameter of 500 feet, at a speed of 3.5 miles per second. Researchers will then analyze to what extent the orbit of the double asteroid is changed by this man-made impact. A few years later, ESA's Hera spacecraft will investigate the site of the cosmic collision and analyze its consequences in detail. The mission could thus provide an important signpost for terrestrial defense against potentially dangerous asteroids. Now it's your turn. Which spectacular asteroid mission captivated you the most? Drop us your thoughts, feedback, and suggestions on today's video in the comments. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then click on one of the images in the credits to get to the other videos on our channel. Thanks a lot for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.